Hey there, this is Atul and in this video, I'm going to cover how to create a free AWS trial account so that you can practice over the next one year absolutely free. You will need three things. One is phone number, second is the email address and third is credit or debit card. But I'll tell you how you can create a free account even if you don't have a debit or credit card. So keep watching. And towards end, I'll give you a link to register for my free class for absolute beginners so that you can learn all the AWS services and the important things related to AWS quickly within six days. So make sure you watch this video till the end. So first, in order to create an account, you will come to aws.amazon.com. You will click on the link like here, create an AWS account or it will be somewhere button here, get started free. You can click on either of them. You click on create an AWS account. You'll be signing up by typing an email address. This is a root user. What is a root user? And you can create additional users we call IEM, which I'll be covering in future videos. So select an email address. Now, if you don't, you can use any email, including Gmail or Yahoo or any other email. If you don't have an email account, you can go and create it from Google. Select the account name. This name can be changed later. Click on verify the email address. And then now go and check your email um, inbox. If you can't find an email in inbox, check in your spam folder and enter the verification code that you received and click on verify. Next is you need to provide a password for this user that will be using later when you're logging in. Now you get two options. You can continue uh, like five steps or you can straight away sign in into the AWS account. I want to see what are the different five steps. I'll click on here, continue step one of five because I need to verify or put an email, phone number and credit card as well. So this is where you will say this, you get always free, 12 months of free. Here you decide whether you want to use it for business or personal. I'm using for personal. Enter your name, your phone number. I'm based in UK, so I'll change my country. I'll hide the phone number for now here. You enter your correct phone number. Now in future videos, I'll tell you how to configure multi-factor authentication. So apart from password, you have to give a token which will be received on your phone. And so it's handy to use phone number. Enter your address here. And then you need to select this checkbox saying I've read and agreed to the terms and conditions. Click on continue. Now this is where, what if you don't have a debit or credit card or any of these uh, Visa, MasterCard, American Express or Discover. And that is where you will be using a virtual card. So these are not physical actual cards, but these are virtual cards which are issued by third party. Like for example, you can go to privacy.com and re request a virtual card of uh, one of these especially master or visa card if you're in india you can use the airtel um, have the can issue a virtual card uh, again i found someone which is uh, another one which is in pakistan this naya pay so depending on uh, in which country you are you probably will be requesting a virtual card that will issue your debit or credit card i already have a credit card so i'm going to use that and then click on verify and continue so when you enter your credit or debit card the card issuer might prompt you for a extra authentication. In this case, it's asking me to the token that I've sent to my app. And then you select or you enter the detail and click on continue. It's going to deduct a dollar and then but return it back to my account. It wants to verify that account is uh, or the card is genuine. Even though they are using your card, they will not charge you for one year. Having said that, as long as you use some services within that limit, if you overuse those services or if you try to use a service which is not within the free limit you will still get charged so towards and i'm going to tell you what all services are free and for how long so you don't get charged and in future videos if i see enough comments if you need then i can send you or create a email notification so that whenever you hit um, or spend money anything for example a dollar or more you get notification that's a quite handy way to get notified if you get charged for any service and if you're interested in knowing that video just leave a comment so that i can create a video for that now in this step they want to verify my phone number or my identity you can do it either by the text message or the phone call i'll use the text message enter a mobile phone and then security code that or check coming here and click on this button depending on phone call or sms that you have done click on that 
enter the verification code that you have received on the phone and click on continue to step. And this is where you will select a support plan. I would suggest you go for a basic support free. You don't need a developer or business account. Though if you want, you can select, but then keep it free support here and click on complete sign in. And this completes all your steps. Now, if you hit any problem, leave them as a comment. And also if you're using, if you wanted a create an account without a credit or debit card, let me know if you were able to create it using the virtual card method that I've explained here. Once you've created an account, you all you need to do is click and go to the account management console. Now this is where you'll prompt you for the root user. You'll always select you root user. As I said earlier, later in future videos, we'll create some other additional users that we'll call as the IAM user, our identity nexus management user. But for now, always select a root user, enter your email address that you've used or created earlier and then click on next, enter the password that you've created and your state logged in. Now, for some reason, if you forgot or if you close the window and try to start again, and then all you need to do is console.aws.amazon.com. I've already logged in here, click on sign out. And this time you will click on sign into the console if your account is already created. On your first time, it'll prompt you or tell you all about uh, this navigation. So this is where you will see all the services that are available on the portal, different type of services that you have. Next is, this is where you will have all your account related settings or account details. You click on here on this, you will have all the settings here, all the billing dashboards, etc. This is the region on which you're trying to work out. You can create your resources in all these different regions. This is where you will have all the notification like open issues, issues if you hit any problem notifications. This is where you will have all the help handy, all the help and documentation. How do you reach out to the documentation, etc. This is a cloud shell, which is a command prompt, which will cover that later. This is where you can go and search all your services. So any service that you want to use, you can type enter here and you can go straight onto that service as well. Well, that's pretty much on how to create a free AWS trial account. Now, as I said earlier, the free, when you, we say free, it's actually you get 750 hours of EC2 and specific type of, you get only T3 micro type of shapes or T2 micro shapes. You get 5 GB of storage. If you're using RDS or relational data services, that's 750 hours, DynamoDB 25 GB and so on. So all the services, only these services are free for within that limit. So be careful. You might even if it says free, you might be charged if you overuse these services within that free one year. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like, I would like to invite you for a free five days course which is targeted for someone who is beginner or if you're already working uh, on cloud but want to have an overall picture of AWS cloud, then this complete free course over the next six days. So on day one, we'll cover the cloud service model like IS, PaaS and SaaS. We'll also look at the deployment model, public, private, hybrid cloud. We'll look at AWS global infrastructure and services, common services overview on day two. On day three, we are going to pick up the three most common services, which is compute, which is your virtual machine, containers, etc. Then storage, different type of storage, block storage, object storage, file storage. Then we'll also cover the networking basics like VPC or subnets, gateways, different type of gateways and connectivity. Day four, we'll be covering databases, automation and configuration and monitoring config management. And we'll keep these high level. This is a short video as well as the email over the next five days or six days. Then day six, we are going to talk about DevOps tools available on AWS cloud and a three node architecture. We'll also try to add a little bit more about on containers and Kubernetes architecture or microservices architecture on AWS. And day six is a bonus where we'll talk about the certifications, two of the most common certifications, which are highly in demand, which is AWS Solution Architect and AWS DevOps, what all path, learning path you should be doing, what all hands-on ledge that you should be performing. And then finally, job opportunities. So check out on register and roll free, which is by going to 
k21academy.com forward slash aws this is absolutely free uh go to this page and click on enroll now for free click on enter your name and email address and if you're already working and if you have a friend or colleague or someone who is just starting out or a beginner in aws that definitely will find it very very useful so enter your name email address and click on enroll now so within five minutes you will check your inbox if you can't find an email i would highly recommend you to look at the spam folder or promotions tab and you will get an email like this with the login details and a whatsapp group make sure you join whatsapp group and log into the portal the instructions on how to log into the portal will also be available so it's absolutely free so url ketoneacademy.com forward slash aws so i'll see you on the first topic which is the cloud service model and deployment model on day one which will get it immediately in next couple of hours now as i said if you want me to create a new video for notification or setting an alert when your your billing hits more than a particular amount let me know in the comment section also what all videos do you want to see on this channel related to aws let me know so i'll start creating those videos with that, this is Atul and I'll see you in another video.